HCAM programming is supported by our viewers, thank you, and by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. And by WPC Pest Control, a family-owned business for over 35 years. Owners Jim and Rebecca Mazzucchelli provide honesty, respect, and integrity, performing safe and effective pest control services. They service your home like it's their home. Hello and welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, we'll get you up to date with the Summer Concerts on the Common series. Officer Thomas Griffin of the Hopkinton Police Department worked the last day of his 38-year career as a full-time police officer. Project Just Because hosted Christmas in July and Courtney We'll get you up to date with our latest programming with the HCAM Insider. But first, here are some of the latest happenings in town that you should know about. Verizon Wireless held their grand opening in Hopkinton. Verizon joins numerous other new businesses in town, including the Spoon, 110 Grill, and their neighbors at the newly built West Main Street Plaza. Ideal Nails and Spa, Unibank, and Starbucks. Yes, we have a um, very good re relationship with the business, um, not only next door, but in the neighborhood, yes. Manager of the Hopkinton location, Wigan Timothy, has been with Verizon a year and has worked his way up to manage two of Verizon's locations. Hi, um, my name is Wigan Timothy. I am the store manager of um, this location. Okay, uh, how did the uh, grand opening go today? How was the reception? Everything uh, was great. We had uh, a lot of um, a lot of member of the town um, with us. That was um, very fun. We had a good time with everybody. Um, everybody came very friendly and we got to cut the rubbins and eat some cake. That was pretty fun. Um, I was, I'm with Verizon for um, about a year now. Um, started as a sales rep, get promoted um, seven months ago. That that is my first location. Now I also have an, another location in Wilmington, so I managed to um, Verizon store stores actually. Um, before that, I used to work for Amazon, um, an IT department. As construction continues in the Lumber Street Plaza and along West Main Street, one thing's for certain. We should see even more businesses opening soon in Hopkinton. HCAM station manager Jim Cousins, along with his daughter, will be biking 30 miles in La Crosse, Wisconsin at the JDRF Ride to Cure Diabetes. So my daughter was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes several years ago and our family typically does something to help support the JDRF which is doing great work to try to cure type 1 diabetes. And this year Rachel and I are riding in the JDRF ride to cure diabetes. I don't know how I signed up for 30 miles but that's what I'm doing. Do you have a cause you are involved with and would like to promote it on HCAM? Email us news at hcam.tv. For more of the latest happenings in Hopkinton, check out our website, hcam.tv. After a 38-year career with the Hopkinton Police Department, Officer Thomas Griffin worked his last day this past week. Officer Griffin was sad to leave, but excited to get to spend more time with his family. Well, first of all, it, this is bittersweet. Um, I hate to leave these guys. They're the best group in the world to work with. Uh, it's a great department and a great town to work in. But at the same time, um, I'm finally going to get to be with my family and get to do the things that most family people do. And I understand uh, you're going to be a uh, special officer. Uh, can you talk about what some of your responsibilities will be with that? Special officer, I'll be doing uh, road details. And besides that, I'll still stay involved with the department. Uh, we've always done special things around town, uh, senior dinner. The kids fish in Derby, the, um, the night out that we're going to have in August, and I'll be involved in all those. And uh, lastly, do you have anything you'd like to say to the community? I just want to thank everybody in this community. Um, I, I can't say 
what a good town it's been. Uh, it's just, it's been terrific. So supportive of us, um, and just that they put their trust in us. For the three years I've been here, just just over two and a half years, Tom's been like uh, a mentor to, uh, towards me. Showed me the town, you know, gave me all the inside information and uh, uh, tricks of the trade of knowing a little bit about the history of Hopkinton. So he's been a wealth of knowledge. But he's also one great cop. He takes on so many responsibilities. He, uh, you'd swear he was 21, not 65 out there, but he's one of the most dedicated cops I've ever met. We're certainly going to miss him. You have representatives from uh, uh, the mental health uh, community, uh, working with mental health advocates. He helped start the program here. He's taken on the uh, responsibility of uh, bringing Narcan to the town, training our offices, supplying our offices, obtaining the prescriptions for it, and uh, just an incredible uh, uh, hard-working police officer. One of the big things he does around here, which we're hurting, we after he leaves is fleet maintenance and he keeps the cars on the road rolling uh, and uh, certainly hope we can find a, a decent replacement for him. <laughs> Hi, my name is Pat O'Brien. I had the pleasure of working with Tom Griffin for my entire career. 32 years Tom was here when I got here, Tom was here when I left. With Tom, a vast knowledge of information is going to be leaving with him. Uh, Tom's been working for Hopkins Police for close to 40 years. He has had his finger in just about every aspect of the department. Um, Tom, as most know, has been working days for the um, last half of his career, and he's reached out to the community, and uh, he's certainly going to be missed by not only all, everyone at HPD, but certainly all the residents of Hawkins. So, Tom, I'd like to wish you the best in your retirement, well-deserved, and a job well done. Congratulations to Officer Thomas Griffin on a wonderful career. He certainly will be missed by the department and the community. For those of you that don't know, Project Just Because is a 501c3 charity that helps community members in need, such as school children who need books or families who need food. This past week, Project Just Because hosted their fifth annual Christmas in July, and the event was a success and raised a lot of funds for the great work the charity does throughout the community. Um, my name is Colette Cronin and I'm the operations manager at Project Just Because. Um, it is a great organization. We um, fill general request needs as well as uh, backpacks, holiday, and lots of other programs throughout the year. I founded it 17 years ago in my basement. I'm Cheryl Ann Lambert Walsh and we started by planting a little seed and everyone's watering the garden of helping families in need. Um, and years ago, we also took over the Hopkinton Food Pantry. So we do year-round programs, just basic needs to help people. Project Just Because hosted their fifth annual Christmas in July fundraiser. This year, the event was hosted at the Faith Community Church, and a big turnout was on hand to help the charity give back to the community. Yeah, this is our fifth year doing it, and it is a fundraiser in July with a Christmas theme because in Christmas time, holiday time, we do 15,000 children and help them. But in order to continue um, being able to get the needs met, we try very hard to do fundraising in the summer when a lot. A lot of people um, don't think as much about families in need because there's other things going on and it's summer and fun and we help the families every day. There were many great auctions and raffles as well as plenty of activities for all ages. We have so much going on here tonight. We have live auction items, silent auction items. We have mystery packages wrapped up like Christmas presents. Um, we have pictures with Santa. Um, so all the money is to uh, help us to help people in need. The event featured a performance by the Treblemakers Chorus, which despite the 90 degree weather outside, helped get the crowd in the Christmas spirit. The festive event continues to be one of the biggest events for Project Just Because and their efforts to help those in need throughout the community. Months and months of planning. So um, we had a committee um, that helped out and we all came together to get the items and decorate and make everything come together for a nice evening. Um, people 
are very kind. They just come and everything's donated tonight. So any proceeds go directly to help families. We rely on volunteers, so we have a lot of people coming in to help us out. Um, and then at holiday time is a great time for companies to do drives for us, for warm blankets, uh, gifts for kids, um, hats and mittens, things like that, so that we can help out uh, thousands and thousands of kids at the holiday time. See more from the project Just Because Christmas in July event on our website, hcam.tv. Coming up on HCAM News, Courtney will get you up to date with everything coming up on the HCAM channels with our HCAM Insider. We'll give you a glimpse of the Hopkinton Community Summer Band performing at the Concerts on the Common series, plus much more. You're tuned into HCAM News. Stay tuned. HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Do you have what it takes? Make a difference. Always an adventure. Police and fire working together. Utilizing the latest technology. Do you have what it takes? Welcome back to HCAM News. The Concerts on the Common series is in full swing on Sundays at the Town Common. Recently, the Hopkinton Community Summer Band took to the stage and had a special performance dedicated to Doreen DeFazio, who passed away last month. Doreen was a beloved member of the Hopkinton Community Summer Band.
For more about the concerts on the Common Series and what to expect throughout the rest of the summer, be sure to search our website, hcam.tv. This past May, Hopkinton residents packed St. John's Parish Center for the Memorial Day ceremony. The ceremony, typically held outdoors, was held indoors this year because of the rain. But despite the weather, many attended the ceremony to pay respects to those who sacrificed everything for our country. In case you missed it, here's a look at this year's Memorial Day ceremony in Hopkinton. Despite the rain, once again a largely attended Memorial Day ceremony took place in Hopkinton. The ceremony was held at St. John's Parish Center due to rain. On the Friday leading up to the ceremony, Hopkinton Boy and Girl Scouts replaced flags on veteran grave sites at Evergreen and Mount Auburn Cemetery. Hi, we're here to do memorial stuff. For flags. For, for flags, we're putting flags in the graves so that uh, yeah. they get new flags and yeah. they be represented. Are you guys in the Scouts? Yeah. Yes. yes. Right, Go what Scouts. What troop are you from? 680067. We're doing it here. Oh, very nice. So yeah. You're, so you're uh, replacing all the flags? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. My mom's a troop leader. <laughs> well, you guys are doing great work. Keep it up. Thank you. Thanks. And then a large turnout was on hand for the ceremonies to remember the heroes who sacrificed everything for our freedoms.
The patriotism that brought us all here today is more than the pride it takes to chant USA, USA at a sporting event. It's deeper than that. It is more than just pride, it's gratitude. What have brought our country together on the first Decoration Day and what unites us when our soldiers came home after World War II was the same emotion that overcame America when we landed on the moon. Not simply a feeling of pride, but a feeling of deep respect and appreciation. It's been said that the character of a community is, re is revealed in the way that it treats its loved ones. Gathering here today and bowing our heads respect for those who made the ultimate sacrifice is the type of patriotism that is handed down from generation to generation. Lieutenant Foley is currently stationed here in the Air Force Base in Bedford where he serves as a development engineer. He's here today accompanied by his girlfriend, Tiffany. Please welcome him, our native son, back to Hopkinton, Lieutenant Mike Foley. So today is about memorializing those who've come before. And it's not just about remembering, it's also about a call to each and every one of us who is still alive, still here today. And everybody talks about being thankful, being grateful, and I wanna echo what several people have already said since I think it's the most important part, is that it's also a call to duty and a call to service. Not everybody's going to serve in the military, <clears throat> not everybody's going to go off to war. Not everybody, thankfully, will live in a time of war. Uh, unfortunately, we do now, and it's a reality that every day there are more and more people added to the role of honor of each of the services, the names of those who've fallen. But there'll come a time when we'll live at peace again, and as has been said, there's no such thing as a good war and no such thing as a bad peace. And that's when the call to service for all of those who don't wear the uniform comes to the forefront. It's easy to honor those who serve. We talk about buying a cup of coffee. That's wonderful. There are tons of veterans out there who are incredibly grateful in their families for each and every act of kindness that's brought to them. But the call to service is two parts. There is also the call to serve your nation as a citizen, as a mother, as a father, as a teacher, as a student. Every single job has merit and value if you look at it as a part of making our country great. Don't forget, you can find just about all of this year's HCAM programming on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV, and also much more about events that occurred in Hopkinton on our website, HCAM.TV. Despite summer being in full swing, there are still many programs coming up on HCAM. To get you up to date with our upcoming summer programming, here's Courtney Taylor with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone, and welcome to the latest edition of the HCAM Insider. On Monday, August 1st at 8.30 p.m., the advantages and disadvantages of electronic medical records for physicians and patients are discussed on a new physician focus. If you're in a practice that has more than one office, it's not unusual for the chart not to be available at the particular office where you are stationed. So in that sense, even if they were identical with paper, uh, as far as what their contents were concerned, they offer those two really very, very substantial advantages. On Tuesday, August 2nd at 7.45 p.m., the Evan Goodrow Band performs music with soul on concerts on the Common. On Wednesday, August 3rd at 8 p.m., Jenny Kniss talks about how she helps fire departments coordinate their fundraising efforts for the Muscular Dystrophy Association on a new All About Hopkinton. We have departments that go out really from April through November. Oh, okay. So it's kind of whatever works for them and mm -hmm. whenever they can get the most guys because a lot of them are volunteering to come out and do this. Yes. Which is extra special and we really appreciate our firefighters. On Friday, August 5th at 6.30 p.m., Reno Bachi returns to the kitchen to show you how to make antipasto and garlic bread from scratch and gives tips and tricks along the way on the golden pan. Though, though garlic gives a strong flavor, if you rub it on the inside of the bowl or the cup that you're gonna use, it, you'll get the flavor from the garlic, but you won't get that strong taste. 
Summer is in full swing, and HCAM is still hard at work to bring you new programming. If you want to know what's coming up, you can check out hcam.tv connect to sign up for our HCAM Insider Newsletter. Or if you want to know about events happening in town, you can sign up for our daily news updates. As always, thanks for watching HCAM. Now back to you, Tom. Thank you, Courtney. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget to stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Right now on our website, you can view more from the Project Just Because Christmas in July event or more about Hopkinton Police Officer Thomas Griffin retiring after 38 years on the squad, as well as all of the latest happenings in town. If there is a photo, video, or story idea you would like to share with us, feel free to email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. Take care, and thank you for watching HCAM. HCAM is supported by our viewers and by Blackstone Valley Wealth Management, providing highly personalized financial planning, wealth management, and customized solutions through transparent, unbiased advice. Visit us at BlackstoneValleyWealth.com.